Did someone backstage bring me my tequila? I forgot it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, uh, this is, next one's a breakup song. Think about breakup songs in case you're in the business of writing breakup songs. <laughs> give you a pro tip. Two things. One, you really should make sure that it's not just a breakup, that it also implies a new beginning. And also that everything is not the other person's fault. <laughs> The other night you had to do this too, you brought it out in like a candle holder because you <laughs> couldn't find the glass. Oh, you know, there's another thing too, is breakups don't happen in vacuums. So kids, when you're writing a breakup song, make sure that it has some, uh, something else about it. Like this one, the whole reason I wrote it is because I realized that a lot of people, breakup means they have to move out super fast and find a really quick, improvised, broke-ass apartment to move into. <laughs> the first night in that apartment, if you've ever lived this, is like you're sitting in a bunch of boxes. Um, and I always tend to set the stereo up first and sit there and then I'm like, whoa, I can put anything anywhere I want. <laughs> And then, and then you you get sad again. But for a moment, there's that silver, there's that silver lining. And so, you know, here's here's this song I wrote simply because I had that angle that I had recalled. Let me take a sip and I show them again. Yeah. <laughs>